Yo, hello, 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 and welcome to the Kananga Half-Life Opposing Force scriptless tutorial. What's up, everyone? Um, we will try to make this quick. First time I'm doing this, so I don't want to drag this out too long. I bet no one wants to sit here and watch this video for hours. So let's hop right into it and let's see how we can do this. So if you want to get going with getting the game, just go over to speedrun.com slash uh, op4 <clears throat> then you click on resources and you can get this half, uh, opposing force 2005 package over here this is the version i'm using um and then you can get the chapter splits down here if you want to use live split and um important also you get the practice saves here uh, very very helpful no th these ones the op4 practice saves updated these are the one the most recent ones and um they are definitely very helpful but here's my version of the game right now um i will also include a dropbox links a uh, dropbox link below the stream where you can get my game files these have also my config and user config in it then um yeah if you download the saves from the website you uh, make a folder in the gearbox one folder called save and then you just these are the practice saves n1 to n32 just dump them in here then you can load one of these saves in game um okay next thing let's open my config real quick um so there is uh, a lot of different weapon binds, different to Half-Life weapon binds in this game. For example, here I have um, the weapon M249, that's the, the LMG. Um, I will just link the, um, the weapon names in my description as well, in the video description. And um, yeah, then important as well are the FPS binds, you will need eight, you will need the 24.39024 for a jump bug if you want to do that strat. Um, then the 20 FPS is always important and then the 100 FPS is always important. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the standard route. So yeah, you can look at my config as well if you want to download um, my files, click on the link in the description under the video. Uh, user config. I just have the important run start bind in here. And um, that's about it then. Yeah, let's jump into the game. Okay, okay. Then we're back in the game. And um, I haven't mentioned before, I'm playing the showing off the script this category, which is uh, my main category, what I'm playing. Um, that means we will use the scroll wheel down to jump while be hopping and the scroll up or duck tapping, which uh, I will explain later when it's necessary or helpful. Uh, and yeah, also I will show uh, beginner routes for uh, easier strategies, which you will saw on, see on the hut over there. Um, I will show advanced strategies if it's a, a bigger time save or, and uh, then you just need a bit of experience or more practice, I guess. But um, that is up to you to decide then. And most of the time we'll just show the standard route for the game. So let's start with the run start bind. Hit run. Um, let me just uh, BXT hut timer one here. So you can see the timer on screen. Um, you can also start the run with a P-bind, as I mentioned earlier. And um, it puts you right at the beginning of the game. The funny thing is here, it will start with a, you waking up from unconsciousness. So you will be on a black screen, but you can already start walking immediately. So what I do is I just hold W after a second D into this door. And then I pre-strafe and make my way over here before even seeing anything. So. The way that looks like is one second, D, free strafe, jump, and there you go. I reached this door already. Uh, actually quite tricky, requires a lot of resets and practice to make this. So I would recommend just when you learn the game, try to hit this door at least. And then once you see, you start be opening over here, right? 
All right, and now we start be opening properly because we can see. Go to this power vest over here. It's necessary. Pick it up, and then we go back to this door, and we see Otis over here. And what you want to do is, you want Otis to open this door for you. And after he shoots twice, um, we hit E on him. Then immediately jump onto this table. Go right in this position here. Like you can see the bit of the corner of the table. Um, and hit your 4 FPS bind, which is for me, bind, uh, caps, lock. This is uh, the 4 FPS key, and uh, what this will do is it will make Otis run quicker towards you, bounce off the corner of this table into the big trigger that will start his cutscene, and he will al already be closer to the scanner, which he needs to reach. Um, okay, let me show this off now from the safe over here. 1, 2, hit E, go on the table, hit 4 FPS. And pop, he bounces into the trigger. You can go back to 100 FPS. And um, our bro will start talking. You have to wait a little bit. So just go over here. Spam a little bit of E. Kappa. And uh, 8 FPS here. Makes Otis turn quicker towards the scanner. And now we have to get the wrench. Get over here. These lasers are deadly, so don't touch them. You want to try and make your way over here. Um, and there's a death trigger over here, so you cannot just jump over this laser. So what we have to do, we have to jump from this console over to um, this the stairs here without touching the laser or the trigger, and then we can make continue our way. Um, the way it looks like in a run would be just b-hop everything and make your way up here quickly right all right and now we continue just b-hop as good as you can make it over this goo that damages you up the stairs and we will reach this section of the game which is already um a decision now so i will first of all show you the beginner strategy which everyone should be able to get you get over here out of the door um, don't fall down here, make it over here, and then you just jump into this slope, hold W all the time, um, make your way up, once you reach this part, once you reach uh, this part, you can get up, up here, jump here, and then you need a tiny bit of speed to make it over here, uh, and from here you can just bunny hop, get out of bounds here, Go to the left here, stay up, stay up, and you can drop down here. You'll lose a bit of health, but you can just replenish it. I wouldn't recommend getting this battery, not the end of the world if you do, but then you climb down the ladders. Let me start, show the trigger. You need to hit this trigger. This It's very massive though, so you, no chance to miss it, I guess, anyway. Um, that was not planned. Yeah, then um, just make your way over here, bunny hop. Hit the door and now we're down here we were jumping up there before and you can see this big red triggers everywhere right and um, these will actually kill us if we do not hit uh, the big blue box in there that deactivates them and it's just so the the game doesn't want us to jump down here but um in here there's none anymore the funny thing about this trigger is and now we go to the advanced thread this trigger once you go onto the map from up here, once we go through this level change, there will be a tiny, tiny, tiny time window in which um, the red trigger at the bottom is deactivated. And um, we can abuse this. Okay, and um, you can go simply back up here. Load N2 puts you on this map before the map change over here, before we have to do our good old friend. The jump back okay and um once we go through that map change the death trigger the red death trigger i've showed you will deactivate for a tiny time window it's it's on when you go through the map change and then it's off for just enough time to do the jump back and squeeze through the door before it activates again all right um and the way we will find this time window is by doing a consistent setup we strafe around this corner on like 460 to 480 speed, just like this. 
hit the door, save, and then um, once I'm in the door, I use my lower FPS bind, which is um, this key. It does 24.39024 FPS. And you want to have it activated while you hold W, run towards this railing, jump on top of the railing, just touch it for a tiny bit, and then you just walk off here. And then you crouch in the air and make your way down there to watch the death trigger, which is deactivated for a little bit. Okay, and um, the other binds you need are, um, for me, um, mouse 1 and mouse 2. So I just rebind my mouse keys with G and H. I tap that at the start of the run somewhere. And then when I press left click, I jump and right click, I uncrouch. And for the jump bug, you need to be crouched. And when you hit the floor, you press both of these keys at the same time in the frame where you would normally take the fall damage. But since you're then jumping and uncrouching, the game simply forgets about you taking this fall damage. Um, that's pretty much how a jump bug works. And it's a very specific frame rate. The frame rate only works for this specific jump bug. Um, yeah, it's probably the hardest strat for the speedrun. Um, it's because of the death trigger very tricky to figure out. But if you're persistent enough, you can learn it, I'm sure. And um, yeah, I'll show you now how it's supposed to look. So we do the strafe. Touch the door, save, lower FPS, walk. Do the jump pack and then just hold W immediately into the door. So you want to land as close to the door as possible so you open it immediately and um, squeeze in before the death trigger activates again and now as i said the death trigger will activate again so if i would walk out here again now i would simply die from it like the red box killed me now um, but yeah if you're fast you can make it in don't be too fast because then it's still active okay i hope that was uh understandable and uh, then you can load N3 if you, or just do a save after the jump bug and we continue from here. We go back to the standard road. And um, we would jump over here and save load to reset this Vortigon's attack animation. Get the shotgun and jump down here. Hold W into this angle so um, you, f you don't take fall damage then. You just lose your fall, your fall speed. Open the door and squeeze through here as quickly as possible. Um, B-hop your way over here. Touch this big bl uh, blue box to activate the next cutscene. And simply just wait over here. This is the last spot that will be imploding. Or exploding. You have to wait for this water level to rise, and then the bridge here will collapse, and you can you can get up. It just takes a while, so drink a bit of water, get yourself comfy. Once it falls down here, you should simply just jump up here. You have time still because we now have to wait for G-Man over there to appear, and G-Man will then open this door for us. And we can... There you go. He opens it. And now we can squeeze through. And start over to this elevator. Make it go down. B-hop. 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 Start this door to open. Pick up the battery here. And now you want to object boost. Make your way into this pipe. Okay. Let's do that again. But maybe this time I will explain a little bit of an easier way to do it yeah you can also just uh, get the battery here and then uh, do a pre-strafe over here so you don't touch the water it does a lot of damage and then you just be hop be hop if you do not want to do the object boost with the explosive box all right now we reach the waterfall you can hit the slope at the bottom, hold space so you shark on top of the water, swim over here, make your way to the ladder, 
line bit towards straight uh let a let us straight up e hop e hop make your way to this door and shoot these boxes as fast as possible because they will set our friendly robot free make sure to hit your 20 fps bind here because the robot will turn a bit quicker and we have to wait for the robot so while he's doing his stuff down there we can go over here pick up nades and a little bit of deagle ammo um our robot has finished turning now we can go back to 100 fps go on to the ladder here now i already hold w and a as soon as this opens i will watch grave down go to the button as quickly as possible it will lower the water level here and what i do is i look at this part here um and once the black line comes up you can already jump um just optimize it a little bit get over here to this button um opens this door and you want to go to this button as quickly as possible which will make the elevator start uh, however there's still goo in on the floor here and the way we can take less damage from it is i open the door i i jump in and uh, i will hit my 20 fps bind because on 20 fps you will take a lot less damage from the goo and then i just do a spacebar bunny hop on 20 fps to reach the the button and rise up here right and here like if i'm on 100 fps look how quickly i die on 20 fps it just takes longer okay so the way it looks like then is we wait for the line here to come up and we can jump hit e 20 fps and this is perfect now i have six armor left which is the sweet spot that's what you want to have if it's different for you don't sweat it there will be ways to fix it you'll be up up into this car and over here is a trigger that will start the next long cutscene. Yeah, yeah, and what you do here, when the level changes and the card starts moving, um, you can simply jump and in the middle of the air, you can hit a 4 FPS frame, like just tap your 4 FPS bind for one frame. And uh, what that does is the card moves out of you, but you stay in position. So we will actually clip out of the card here. There you go. Like the map changes, the card start moving, jump 4 FPS, and now we're here. And then the next step is to do a pre-strafe here and a jump and get on side of the card. Pre-strafe, jump, pre-strafe, jump, and get on the side of the card. There you go. You want to land crouch in this window. Be careful not to fall off. Position your save rank right in the middle. And then what you do is you look at the middle of this black square. Just about there. What it does is it will keep the Vortigons up here from seeing and shooting you. So you can just chill here for a bit and um, enjoy this tram ride. There's one more thing we have to do once we reach the next stop. We have to climb on top of the card. And uh, it's just a little bit of waiting more. There you go. Now we just go over here. The card stops. You can just hold W, jump, crouch, and then jump again. And just like this, you are on top of the card. And what allows us, what that allows us is on the next um, stop, which is the end stop, you're usually stuck in the card for a bit longer until the doors open. But we can already jump off and position ourselves in a very specific spot because this spot will... Um, if you go too far, you will lose your weapons for um, mapping reasons. Um, it's a yeah. We just figured out how far we can go, optimize it that way. So yeah, now we jump off the car, get over here, pick up the Glock, say hello to Otis, and then just below this little purple square, position yourself here, get out your range, and now you're here, right? Once the map changes. We have our weapons still. Um, yeah, you want to start charging your wrench. Just wall strafe up on these stairs. And there's a trigger over here. You want to hit this as quickly as possible. Um, because that starts the cutscene that will break the glasses up there. And while this cutscene's up, the cutscene are playing, we head out back down here. 
kill all these things because they will actually damage us otherwise. And you want to get Otis weapon. So you hit him in the foot, 20 FPS, and once he raises his weapon, you just simply jip him and um, preferably not get hit by these head crabs. Once more from down here, we go up here. Wall strafe, hit the trigger, jib, kill this one with the left click, this one with the right click, and jump down here. Hit Otis in the foot, hold your wrench, kill him on 20 FPS, and then you can shoot these ones if you want. And then just walk up here. The zombies shouldn't be that bad. And then you want to reach this part right when the glass breaks or right before the glass breaks. That's a good practice save for this as well. And we can go from here. So we should be here before this window breaks to not lose time. And um, once the, the green flash appears, you pre-strafe through this door. And begin a strat. You go up on the elevator here. Put a nade down there, killing these three Vortigons. And um, if you lost armor, you can pick it up here. You want to have six. And you head to over here, uh, continue way through the vents. However, let me show the advanced strategy here. So instead of going to the elevator, we turn left into this room, jip that body on the floor with a left click. Put the chair in the corner here, and we have to do an object boost now. However, this object boost is tricky, because you will have to not only object boost into a jump, but rather into a duck tap and gender jump, because that will make the jump be over here in front of this um, slope of the railing. And let me see if I can get this. There you go. It launches you up here. So very tricky object boost. See if you can make it. You want to have at least 1700 speed, but preferably like 1900 2k. There you go, that's the perfect one. You can reach this part immediately. Perfectly be hopping in here if you can. Get off this ladder. You can also keep some speed into this event if you can. If you lost health somewhere, be aware there's a health charger here. And um, yeah, next advanced strategy comes up here. There's a. Um, bigger over here this one you touch it and it will make this soldier there he is he run runs out of this room and towards the helicopter but you want to have the weapon of the soldier and the way to get it in the advanced strategy is we're here and we have to be fast so we just be hop be hop be hop be hop be hop be hop and now the door closes and he's still here right i was actually a tiny bit too slow this time um, there you go, now I was earlier, the door closes from a trigger over here. And um, yeah, now this guy is here and you can just make him uh, kill him, self-load four times. That way he will drop you five weapons in total and it will give you a juicy 250 ammo for this baby. Okay. Okay, now we're back here. I will show the beginner strat. So here, let me show the trigger again. You can just, if you want, climb up this console, get on top of this one, and then jump over this trigger. You need to remember where it is, but um, yeah, just look at it where it is, and um, you can do this up then without seeing it. And now you can walk over here or be up as quickly as you can. And this guy will be in this corner then. He's he didn't start running, so you can just conveniently kill him and save load over here get your five stacks of lmg and um yeah easy to do and now let's go back to this wall you can already see there's an outlining here so this wall will break in a second and the next chapter will start kill this vortigon and then what i do here is i just watch strafe here um, on this wall and start be hopping my way through. Try to keep speed through here. Break this vent up here. Try to keep speed into this vent. Switch to your light machine gun. And um, so you can either just um, walk over here. Make sure to be bunny hopping over these tiles because they will fall. Like you can see they fall. 
you want to make it over here. The quickest way would be to do a little backwards LMG boost here. You can try it. Then you are here. Bunny hop. Make your way here. Down here. Um, if it's too hard, you can always just do a little bit more let's play way of this. But um, I think... That's not the hardest beer pattern. Okay, here, I, what I do is I duct tap under the fan, go down here. And now you want to be as fast as possible here. Because now you can get through before the fire comes. However, that's pretty hard to get. So, if you're just a little bit slower, it boosts here as well. Then you wait for this flame to disappear. And just bunny hop through. Make your way over to the box here. Put it once to the left. Yeet it into this area. Jump here, push the button through the wall. Run over here, pick up grenades and SMG. Into your light machine gun, drop down here. And um, what I do here is I just do a backwards boost again. Slow down here and make my way in here. Um, requires a bit of practice, of course. Most important is that you try not to take damage here. So maybe just kill this one then. Hmm. Make your way through here. And now here, what we can do, either just drop down here and be hope. Okay, all what you can do is you do a little pre-strafe into a backwards LMG boost with just a few bullets and to reach this slope over there, which will prevent you from taking fall damage, just like this. And then you can try and keep bunny hopping here. You want to make your way to this button as quickly as possible. However, if you don't have uh, more than, let's say, 95, 90 health, um, you want to break this box and take the medkit over here. I don't need this now because I was... Keeping my health up. Okay. What do we do here? Reload my LMG. Open the door. And then we save load once. Because that will manipulate the behavior of these guys. So you can just climb up one of them. On top of this. Then here make sure you cook a nade. Because we need it for this grenade boost. I just go onto the ladder. I hold A and S to climb up quickly. And um, once you lose the ladder, release the grenade, yeet up here, and you make it up all the way. Important here is that you kept your health in a good spot so you don't um, run out. You need at least, I would say, 90 health for this. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to mention about this nade boost. So let's go back here real quick. Uh, I forgot to mention this before. So what you really want to do for the nade boost is always when you... Let go of the nade, you want to be crouched. So you go over here, and you let us strafe up, and then you crouch and let go. Make sure you hold your crouch key as well. Okay, that's it. Optimally, the 17 health I have here is perfect for this next part of the, of the game. Alright, here you just be up through the hallway, break this vent as fast as possible. Then you can either jump from this box immediately to the vent. It's a bit tricky because this... Um, lamp has collision, so you can get stuck in there, you have to make it around and then in the vent. Then you want to do a boost through this vent, because it will f it will drop down and you want to be over here before it drops down. Um, if you are annoyed by this jump, it's also fast to just drag this box backwards for a bit and then jump in like a normal human being. Alright, let's do the boost around this corner. You don't want to pick up this battery. You don't want to have too much armor. And now we get another tricky part. It's this tiny little step here that you have to crouch on. And you stand up, look over to this side, jump to the right, and then you make it up on this pile of trash. And another tricky jump is coming up. Uh, you stand on this one and you want to jump crouch because you need to be crouched to not hit your head too early. And then you just simply make it into this vent. This is a very tricky one, so make sure you have a save there. Hold right click on this one. Jip the headcrab as fast as possible. 
break this vent and you make your way through here. Let me just, for fun, quickly, um, if you cannot make one of these jumps, the let's play route here would be you just put a nade in here. I uh, don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, it worked. It blows up all the, the boxes in there. And then you can get the box from out here that you were on earlier. It moves a lot better on 20 FPS, by the way. Otherwise, it's way too fast. Yeah, and you can see it's a lot slower, but this is um, this would be the easiest way to do it if, if the other one is just too annoying. All right, now we're back here out of this vent where the headcrab was. Make your way through here. Pick up both batteries because we won't have 30 armor here. And um, once you touch this rope, it will deal very, very high amounts of damage. So we, what do we do? We press E on the on this thing that turns it off and jump at the same time. What that does is we take about 22 to 26 damage, lowering our armor to a very good amount. And you have, um, yeah, you want it to be on three, four armor for the next map, if you have enough health, that is. Okay. Otherwise, um, always make sure. Um, I will I will explain this after this part. Okay. So now we. Go for the radio, break this box, put a nade down here that alerts the guys who's in, who are in there. Once the guy starts talking, one, two, three, four, throw the nade forward, lower your FPS to 20, and then you put this guy into his cutscene where he breaks this door for us. And while this cutscene is playing, we have the time to go down here. Let me take care of that wound for Press E on the scientist to let him heal us. Make your way up here. And what I do now, because I want four, three, four armor, I let the head creep hit me once. It lowers your armor by two, and your health by one. And we pick up this med kit back here. There's nades here to pick up as well. And then one more hit. Now I'm on the four armor that I was talking about. And we will get one more med kit on the next map, right? And um, the important part is like the med kit gives you 15 health, and you want to make it to 100 effective HP to be able to survive the next nade boost on the next map. So keep in mind I'm getting 15 health. I'm now in an optimal position. I would be at 100 health. But if I'm, let's say, if I'm at 74 here, I will be missing 10 health, right? And then I would want to keep at least 5 armor because 5 armor is worth 10 health. So you will always get to 100 effective health for the nade boost so you don't die from it. Alright, and then for this part, you follow this guy, you push this button through the wall from this side, move into the elevator, and then immediately like spam E on this button on this side because it will open the doors again. And once the level changes, you can immediately start going here. You don't have to wait for the elevator doors. And you have to make your way through here. What I do is I get out my grenades because we need to distract the Vortigons. You can just run through this guy, by the way. Like, once he's in this animation, you can simply walk through him. So yeah. Then I put a nade on this wall. I have another nade there. One more on the table. Jump, save load. Make, make sure to save load here to reset the attack animations. Then you can pick up, you can pick up the med kit over here. Which will put me on 100 now, which is perfect for the nade boost that's coming up. Make your way through here. Save load again. Reset the animation. You want to be quick here, by the way, because if you're not, there's an explosion and you die. So be quick here, jump through, and now start cooking your nade, because now the nade boost is coming up. You want to crouch up through here. For this slope, it's good to lower your FPS to 20, so you can just walk up. Otherwise, for some reason, that's easy to get stuck on, especially if you're walking a bit sideways. Then... The, the optimal strat here is to position yourself here, like right at this line, as far to the right as possible without falling down. And as I look up now, you can see the gap is open above me. So we can put down the nade. Oh, that was very close. And this one is very hard to learn. I would say this is definitely the advanced strat here, making it up all the way. But the thing is, if you can't make it all the way up, let's say I get like that boost you can always jump here and then just walk from here okay so again here the same if you want to do the big nade boost especially 
it is really important that you do do the nade boost crouched and in this one in particular it's if you want to make it all the way up you need to drop the nade and immediately jump crouch afterwards again it is timing wise very very specific because you need a bit more height than um, just letting go of all of the buttons at the same time you need to let go of the nade a tiny tiny little bit earlier than jumping Probably really hard to tell that I'm doing that, but I let go and then I jump crouch. Uh, another backup here. If you do not have enough health, get this battery. It will give you 15 armor, which is 30 effective HP. Hook your nade here and then you just do the nade boost from here, which is higher up. With more armor, I will get less of a boost, but you can still make it here. Make it all the way up here. Um, you want to have your weapon reloaded, so do that on the previous map in the cutscene, remember. Um, yeah, and now we're up here. This is the medic, this is the door we need to reach with the engineer. And the way to do this is, when we go into this vent, quickly kill the two of them. Kill this one, safe load, because he drops us SMG grenades. We want them. You can actually do like five, six safe loads, so you get 10 nades in total, right? That's what we want. There you go, 10 grenades in total. Um, I usually just do it once, and then while I'm walking to the button, I do the rest of the safe loads, and then I have to pick up the rest on my way back. It's a bit faster. Okay, now this is the room with the engineer inside. Open the door, and he's heard. You cannot... He, he wants a medic, right? But we can um, shoot a nade in here and get out of his line of sight like this. Quickly just go out of line of sight. And look what happened. He's alive again. Just when I was getting short, and um, that way he we don't have to bring the medic over, which saves a big amount of time. This trigger will start his cutscene where he starts talking. And then he cannot talk to him. So what we do is we jump over the trigger and tap E on him in the air because then he will start following us. And uh, now the next part is a bit tricky because we need to kill two assassins without him seeing it. So what I do is I just do that, shoot the nade on the two assassins, open this door and then he's following us in here. We break this turret and then we bring him over to this door. And he will start walking towards the door again, doing his animation, which takes a while. So we use the time, pick up a equipment mine down here, some health, armor, ammo, all the good stuff. And then we go back up here. We still have time, so we just hold E on the medic and he will heal us. He heals us forever, so you can get to 100 here if you have enough time. Make sure once he finishes it. You save, and then you lower your FPS to 20. <clears throat> Get into this room with him. You don't have to break the turret, it's not that important. You can just keep going. Whatever happens to these guys, it's not of your business anymore now. Okay, uh, so this is just a quick addition from uh, the future Kananga here. So, um, when you get this guy, make sure to be crouched. So stay over the trigger in the tapping. And then, when you jump over here and he follows you, you have to be fast killing these guys. Like, if I'm slow, like, now I messed it up, he will be totally scared. Like, once he sees them, he gets scared and runs away. So, yeah, make sure to be quick over there. Uh, and also, if you want to do a backup strat there, because you cannot make this consistent, there is a way. And the way is over here, when you are on, on this map where you like healed up, you can get the satchel over here. Just for free, you won't lose time for that. And then, okay, here we go. And once you picked up the satchel and you made your way over to this map, you do have a satchel here now. So what you can do, once you go through this vent and kill these two guys, you just get out the satchel, 
go over here and then just quickly blow both of them up. Okay, I have no idea how that happened. But I think... Like that way and then go over here, kill this guy and dupe the ammo like before and then you will have this path cleared already with a satchel. It's a couple of seconds slower but probably a lot easier to, to make work. Okay, that's it. Yeah, let's go back to past Kananga. Alright, and you made it in here. Uh, what I do here is I just do a little boost over the trip rights like this. I was corporal, what the hell is going on here? Get my way over here, do a boost with a grenade, tap this button, shoot another nade to distract the assassins, otherwise they deal way too much damage. As you can see now. Um let me just quickly show this way a bit easier. You can also just like crouch under this, jump over this, if you don't want to do the boost. And then yeah, nade boost here is pretty important. It saves a lot of time. Okay, for this SMG boost you do over here, again, make sure you have a crouch key. Uh, you hold down the crouch key. Always, always crouch, otherwise it looks like this. Crouch, crouch for the nade boost. And then here, I do a boost, um, and then there's a hard start here, where you launch off this um, little slope. Um, okay, nice movement. Where you launch off this little slope here, and um, you touch this button that opens the next door through the wall already, right? Um, if you cannot get this slope boost, you can simply just walk here, jump up here, then hold W forward, um, maybe a bit sideways, and then tap the button. Just B hop on top of this gray part, right? But uh, let me get the strat for once at least to show it. There you go. I launch off the slope and get up here, and I save here. Once the door opens, I pre strafe. And this is a little bit of honor rail here. Be up through, shoot a nade to distract this guy. Make your way in here. And this is a very annoying jump. I got it first try now, but um, this jump here, it, it can be very, very annoying. You're supposed to bring the barrel over. Like, put the barrel here. And climb the barrel and then the thing, but... Okay, let's load back here. Kill this guy for good measure. Um, and the important part here is you want to stay crouched until you're on top of this um, pipe, right? Then you can stand up. Um, try to keep your speed here. Shoot the vent. Be up. Make it out here. And we are now on We Are Not Alone chapter. Okay. Quickly jump over here. Open the door. You can do a bit of a boost here. It's not that important. This thing will fall down once you reach a trigger that's over here. You jump on top of it. Make your way in here. And um, if it's doing, if I do it quickly. Make sure to reload your weapon here. And you save load once the level changes here. Okay, let me quickly explain the Zen part of this chapter. So once you get onto the map. Save load quickly, because then you will immediately see the fade and screen vanishes. Then either you just jump down here, make sure you get this ammo. It's 40 ammo for an important weapon, which we will get up here. Once you touch this island, there spawns a scientist over here and he drops uh, the displacer weapon with him. Make sure to not stand directly under him, because then you will die and also I think the weapon spawns later or something. So make sure to stand away from him, let him fall and then you go over here. Jump onto this pad, over to this island with the hound eyes on it, and just take it into the teleporter. And just like this, you aren't crush depth. However, let me go back here. Nope, that's the wrong save. 15? Oh, 17, huh? Yep. 16 it is. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so do the save load. And what you can do here is... You can um, back tap off here and boost a little bit. Go into the. There you go. 
So what what I did here is Yeah, I have a good save now to explain this. You see this trigger? This is the trigger that spawns the scientist over there. And it slightly extends from the island over here, right? So what you can do if you have a bit of speed, you can actually hit it early. And yeah, there you go, now I made it, but you need a tiny bit more speed for that. And then the scientist spawns a bit earlier, so you can try and do that. Also, you need to get the ammo down there, don't miss it. And what you can do here for this jump, jump slightly next to the launch pad and then strafe over, because look how like I have a way less air time now, and make it over here. So by jumping in front of the launch pad and then on top of it, you won't fly as high into the air. Okay, let me show this strat one time. There you go, now I hit this trigger. Go over to the launch pad and then you just take this one and go to the next chapter. Okay, okay. Crush Depth is the next chapter now. And uh, what interesting part, uh, thing about this next map, this next chapter start, um, you don't want to safe load on the map here because the next trick is going to be a little bit faster for some reason. Like there's a scientist coming out of a room or out of a, a cage rather and um, the doors will open a tiny bit quicker if you do not do a safe load on the map. So once the map changes here, I just walk forward, press E on this button, drop down here, grab the ladder, go to the right side here, then press the button. I already pressed this button through the wall there. Kill these guys as quickly as possible. And you want to get health and armor. And once this thing opens, you press E on him. Walk backwards. Um, and if you don't press E when he's here one more time, he will just walk back. So I didn't do that now. I will show the whole trick in one go again. Um, also, one thing I want to point out. When the... Thing is opening when it's just like half open three thirds open that's when you want to press e on the scientist for him to come out properly so this is a bit timing based you maybe have to try it a few times to get used to the timing um yeah let me get the whole thing in one go forward while it's still fading in climb up the ladder then you just be up over here press the button shoot the nade they're both dead you want to pick up armor I'm trying to get like 55 armor-ish, then you turn around, wait for this thing to open. When it's like half open, press E, he follows you. Once he stops, you press E one more time, and then he should be following you all the way. Just position yourself in this corner of the door, let him walk, and then he lower your FPS for him to turn quicker, and then he starts walking from there to the scanner, and you have to start the next map um, wouldn't you like to get one of yeah get over here jump pick up armor uh, ammo okay yeah so you open the door for us you pre strap out grab one package of ammo you can climb up here and then boost over here if you if you're able to you want to kill Otis? That's actually something j you don't have to do this for the game, but because of a little dump interaction, these guys can pick up Otis's weapon when he dies, and that can crash your game. And um, the way to avoid it is just simply you kill Otis, and that way um, these guys will run at you and not at Otis, and you can avoid the game crash that way. So let's do that one more time. Pick up the ammo. Let us strafe up, boost over here, shoot Otis, now we go in here, gonna make your way through this vent. Optimally, you just keep b-hopping, somewhat like this, and then immediately into this teleporter and hit the button. If it's a bit slower there, it doesn't really matter. Health management isn't as precise here anymore, obviously you don't want to lose health, but you can always pick up health later. Uh, make sure once you're in this teleporter, you have to wait anyway, just reload all your weapons. Especially the big bun, the big one. 
You want to have at least 31 ammo here in the reload. That's a funny thing, but uh, I'll show you why. Because now we do a trick over here with a trip mine and the LMG where we just clip through this gate. So the way to do this is um, you have a load autosave key. Uh, I have it on L, uh, not bind. Yeah, bind L. L is load autosave for me. And uh, this autosave is just over here now. So uh, I think it will, yeah, it's just outside of water. That's the important part. Um, because now what we do is we place this trip mine like right on the edge here, right here. We go into the corner and now we're stuck. We're stuck in the trip mine, right? So then you save. When you load now, you're still stuck in it, right? You cannot use your weapons. But if I load the auto save where I'm not in the water and then we load back to this save, I can all of a sudden shoot and uh, look how my speed is going up even though I'm stuck. And the thing is, once we, once we reach 1000 speed, stuck in this trip mine, you can lower your FPS to 20 and shoot this trip mine. And then you will clip through the gate. And then you swim over here, continue your way. Mm, let me see, where is it? 20 maybe? Nope, 19. Yeah, let's do this part once without stopping then. I get out the trip mine. I will quickly swim here, place it in the corner, position myself. Save quick, load the auto save, load back into the trip mine, shoot until I'm on a thousand, lower the frame rate to 20, go through the wall and then swim over here. And then press, uh, turn this valve and wait for the water level to change. Switch to your displacer gun. And once the water leaves here, you can like one, two, and then start using the the rifle, uh, the, the, the displacer again. Uh, if you time it perfectly, you would like um, wait for the water to go away and see how it's immediate now, but this is a very, very precise trick. You will have to find the perfect timing that on the level change, your gun is just shooting. Um, okay, and then once you're on this map, save load is important. Drop down here, go to this one, pick up both of these ammo cells, Get to this teleporter, press the button, and you wait for this door to open. Do a pre-strafe, don't crouch here, just hold W into into the water. Okay, I need to be a bit further back. There you go. Swim up here, break this one. You go back to the displacer weapon. There's another level change coming up there. And you want to hit the level change while your weapon is charging again with the right click. Um, how I do it is, I look at this line on the top and just look straight ahead. And then, as soon as I reach this line with the top of my screen, I just right click. And that gives me the perfect... No, I'm not, I'm not working now. There you go. This gives me the perfect um, teleport position. Now, I, w I need to safe load again. When you don't safe load, it puts you here. But if I do the safe load, it puts you on this map. So almost every time you use this weapon, you need to do a safe load afterwards immediately. Only for the last one you don't. I will point this out then again. Okay, then you're on this map. Just forward, pre-strafe. Get to this door open. And um, get this elevator down. Once it's at the bottom, you start it again. Go to the left here. That wasn't supposed to happen. Open this door. If you need armor here, you can break this box. But the important part is you pick up the ammo. Three packages. Then you go out here. Through this window. Up the ladder. Get out your LMG. Once you reach this height, you can jump off the ladder. Make it to here. You can do some boosts here if you want. Next door. This one is long, so I prefer to boost. Okay, and then this door here is 
um, in front of this high room where you would not usually need the barnacle grappling gun to get into this window there. But what we can do with this weapon, I simply just hold W, jump, turn back, and then you want to reach this slope in the window there, like this one here. And there you go. So, might be a bit of getting used to, but with this setup, just hold W forward, turn around and boost. I think this is pretty consistent and even for beginners should be the strat. Otherwise, uh, I don't think it's there's an easier way because you need some speed. This is harder like this, so I would just... You can try to do it all backwards, I guess, but this is how I learned it. And um, yeah, once you reach the lower level here, activate your night vision. Um, I pre strafe into this vent, do another boost to keep my speed here, break this vent, pick up the med kit here, pick up these SMG nades here, hit the button to deactivate the fan, get out this one again. And um, on top of that, I would start reloading inside of the vent there. Like right at the end of this, I start reloading. So now I pick up this ammo and this ammo, because I already started the reload, immediately goes into the weapon. So I have a full, full weapon again. And then we can use that one for this vent. Make it through here. Optimally. If you get this a bit slower, it doesn't matter. Just charge your wrench as much as possible. There's three health packs and three armor packs in there in these boxes. You can break three, maybe four without losing time. You don't really need it though. You, you, you need armor more than health here. Okay, then here you can make an object boost here, but it barely saves any time. So just make your way over here. We strafe, climb up here. Get out your displacer. And we need to get past this worm now. It's a really annoying creature. Because once it does this scream, it will block you from getting in behind it. So we need to be fast here. Get down here and then just do two b-hops over there. Just wall strafe on this wall. Then one, two jumps. And if you need to, you can crouch here to reach that part. One, two, a bit of practice necessary maybe because this thing has a giant collision and it can block you, but it's not the hardest jump. Okay, then there's another teleport trick coming up. You go through this door. The green one over there is the level change. So make sure to charge your displacer before you hit it. Get in here. Remember the safe load again. Um, yeah, and then we make it out here. We are basically um, skipping a huge amount of maps with these teleport save load tricks. Okay, here we go. Just walk over here. What I do is I start pre strafing out the store. We are up here. And then we don't want these things to explode because this one is massive. You would, even with full armor, full health, you won't survive it. So what we do is we tap 4 FPS right before the lasers. And we make it through the lasers in one frame so the game never registers that we were actually inside the lasers. And we keep going. Get into this room, pick up ammo, pick up more displacer weapon ammo. And um, I get out my LMG here, because then we can do a bit of a boost. Get out the displacer again. And then before we hit this map change, we charge the weapon again. Uh, and as always, we do the safe load. I do a little boost here to get to this teleport as soon as possible. And this is actually a bit of a tricky next map now. There's a dark tunnel coming up. So make sure you have your night vision on here. I jump over here, pre strafe And then I safe load over here. Um, this will make these guys... Um, it will manipulate the AI again, and you can get around the side here. And optimally just keep bopping as fast as possible through this dark, long tunnel. Um, however, 
I took some damage here, which you can also avoid if you do another safe load next to the alien there. Right, like right when you're next to this one, you safe load there. This might look a bit confusing at the start, but you will figure out the route here. Once you reach this part, it gets easy. You just have to follow the only path. So let me go back here one more time. Activate the flight vision. Get into the tunnel, do a safe load here. Get around this one, safe load again. And you can also just walk here. It's not that important to B-Hope. It's quite a low height in here, so... Just make sure you learn the the way through this tunnel. Then once you reach this ladder, these guys start um, letting us out. So you can use the time to already heal up. Deactivate your night vision, reload your weapon, get out here. And uh, don't forget to get the sniper rifle here. You will need this later. Get out your SMG. And once we go through the store, I start be opening here. Shoot a nade over there to distract the aliens. And um, then get up this slope here. You have to have a bit of speed or just hold W into the slope. There you go, then you're here. What I do here is crashing because another thing that is just lovely in this game, and I uh, am happy I can mention this now, once these aliens, wait, with these electric shot rifles, shock rifles, um, once they shoot, you never want to save load. You never want to save load because that is a high, high chance to crash then. So let's do this part without... Um, Without that safe load. Jump up here. I boost a little bit here. Keep be hopping. And let me do a little stop here. If you need health and ammo, just get it here. Also, you can get ammo here. If you don't want to do the next trick with a safe loading, um, I would suggest getting it here. But yeah, make sure you have like 80 armor at least here uh, for the easiest route and um, 100 HP would be nice as well. And uh, once you reach this dam, you can do a boost backwards, we hope, and reach this button as fast as possible. If you are not able to do the boost as good, you can just be hope this, is no rush, but make sure you get here as fast as possible. And um, what I do then... I want ammo for this weapon, so I shoot this guy, and this guy, and then I do the save load thing again. Now, don't save load anymore, because these guys have spawned over here, and they start shooting again, so remember, don't save load when they're shooting, or your game will crash. So now, just don't do it anymore. Um, make sure to reload your weapon, pick up all the remaining ammo. This guy exploded from um, our button press there you try not to take damage here if you take a bit it doesn't matter you go down here and um, yeah you make your way through the sewers you can do a boost there make sure to have a safe on this corner try to have your weapon reloaded as well and now we start the second to last chapter which is the package um, okay let me just show first of all the easier way of doing this. This water boosts you forward. Um, I'll make a hard save here. We'll practice later. Um, okay, and then easy way is just walk here and once you reach the exit you jump and just make your way over here. Jump up here and then you can boost with the LMG rifle and then just try to maintain your speed. Try to surf on these slopes to keep your speed. Get out your SMG, and then this wall here is where you have to get over quickly, because there's a very, very strong weapon firing at you. And the way to get over easily is just use an SMG nade, jump, crouch, shoot. Um, the funny part about this wall is, it's actually higher here, like you can see. Here, I'm jumping. So yeah, here... There's um, an extra invisible wall on top of the fence, but it stops here. So it's actually harder to get over on the corner than it is to get over here. 
Like you can be jumping over there a lot easier. So keep that in mind. Uh, you want to try and keep your armor as high as possible. So maybe... Yeah, like 36 is a bit low already. It will be enough though. Okay, and then you go through this door to the next map. But now let me show you the fast way of doing it. And also the way you will maintain a lot more health and armor. So what you do is, you can strafe around this corner and jump already. And you see it boosts me already. And then you can get another jump in to get more speed. And, and one more up in front of the exit. And it's quite tricky to keep your speed high. So this is really tricky and um, takes a while to, to learn. And uh, there you go. Now I got it. And you see how much speed you can get out of there. And then you can keep the speed for all the way here. And then here, you can do another boost, which is also tricky, but it allows you to jump over the fence without the nade boost and keep your armor a lot higher, right? Okay, so what you do here, you shoot one nade to distract the aliens, make your way over here, make a save, and then just keep ne uh, staying next to the wall, because if you are over here, the helicopter will start shooting rockets, but here he doesn't see you. You jump up here twice, make your way over here, do a nade boost, switch to your LMG, and do a boost here to get here quickly. So this way the helicopter doesn't shoot me a lot, and um, I will keep my health up, and my armor will be 0 to 15 here, which is totally fine. Uh, let me see if you hide from the helicopter here, you have to wait. Now he gets over there, then I do the nade boost. Now I have a bit more time to to do this next part. Also, let me just for, to explain this. I'll start no target. There's a cheat, but they will not attack me now, so I can show this off. Um, you can't walk over here. It's an invisible wall now in front of me. So what you have to do is, you have to use this tiny space here to get a bit of speed to make it over here. And... Um, that's the tricky part about this jump. So, no target. Okay, no target is off you now. That's good. Let me show the easy way of the strat, or the, the safer way of the strat. You go into the corner. You wait for the helicopter to come over you so he doesn't shoot you as much. And then you go over here, save, do the jump. Do this little jump up here, and then you can just walk or boost from here. And you made your way over here without losing all your health. Drop down here. If you lost too much health, keep in mind there's health in here that you can take. I have plenty enough now. So what I do, I shoot a nade over there. I do another boost. And I just jump over here, up the car, and pick up a battery here if you need armor. I would always suggest having more than five armor. Um, so if you're lower than five armor, pick it up. If you're more than five, you're good to go. Um, and also one more thing to say here, in this part there's again these aliens here, these ones, with their electric shots, right? So you don't want to safe load in this whole parking lot. So this should be your last safe load up until you get over here. Here you don't want to safe load, get in here and now you can save again. Make sure to reload your weapon and then you just go through this vent. You drop down here and immediately start another boost. Go through this gate. Press E on this thing. Go backwards again. You can shoot a nade here to distract those. And then you go in front of the door to make Barney let you in. And then again, if you are on no armor here, make sure you will uh, you break this box to get 15 armor. Don't go over 20 armor here though. Like you don't, you don't want to have more than 20 because you need to do an 8 boost on the last map, on the last chapter. And um, it only works up to 15 armor. If you have more than on that on the 8 boost, you will not make it all the way up. Go over here, break these two boxes, get the ammo. Um, you can then crouch in here, activate the elevator, pick up these two things, quickly hurry back in, reload your weapon, get out your shotgun. And now there's another uh, little B-up section here that you can do quickly. 
break the box, get the med kit, and then climb up this turret. Um, the thing is, if you do it fast, you will not be shot a lot. If you are slow, you will probably take too much damage. Uh, that's uh, you can fix that on the next part. Break this, get the ammo, then get out your displacer. We have an exa exactly enough ammo now for another shot. Go in the corner, right click, teleport in here. And um, let me just tell you one more thing. It's actually very important that you are in the corner. If I do it here, I'm on the wrong coordinates and then the then the spot where I will teleport to is different. So you need to make it to this corner here before you teleport. Once you reach this, check your HP. You want to have close to 100 HP here uh, because you need to do the next nade boost with it. And if you don't have it, just go forward, go into this pool, lower your FPS, that makes you heal quicker. And then you can do a little boost and make your way over here, right? Um, now let me just show this off without losing the health. Get your displacer out. And then I, now I have close to 100 health. Can get back here. Switch to your SMG. And keep in mind this is the last time you lose the displacer and the only time you don't want to do the safe load on the Zen map. Because what happens if I do the safe load on the Zen map? Like, let me see. I safe load here now. What happens then? I get put here on the start of the map again. So, once you do the teleport, no safe load, just jump over here. Now I can save again. Now I want to make my way over here on top of these boxes. This is the last big nade boost. So, safe way is just doing it like this and getting on top of these boxes and uh, there's a trigger here don't touch this trigger because it will make the boxes on this map like these boxes here once i touch this they will start swinging and you don't want this to happen so make sure to avoid this um also if i do this nade boost fast it will look like this i will already land here make sure to have a safe here and then advanced strat here this is actually a hard one again um you do a tiny pre straight and then a backwards boost okay. there you go shoot a nade and then you need to land in a very very straight angle on this slope yeah. to not take fall damage if i just slightly off angle this i will die to fall damage like let's say let's say I land like this. You see, then I will always die. So let me try to get it one more time now. Come on. Shoot the nade. And then land in a very very straightforward way on top of the slope because that will avoid fall damage. The nade is just so these guys are scared and not shoot you. You can also, if you if you are struggling to do all this in one go with the nade, land here and then shoot the nade late. But as you can see, I already took one hit there. And sometimes you're very low on health here, so I prefer just shooting the nade immediately. Make your way in here. If you need ammo here, you, you want to have like 100 bullets at least. You can pick up the ammo here and make your way to the elevator. Okay, but now let me... Let me go back to the previous part. Let's say the 30. Yeah, perfect. So over here, let's try and do an easier way of this. Make your way here. And then you can just be up like this. Shoot the nade. Shoot the nade. And then just Go in here using the nade as distractions for the for the enemies, okay? So that would be an easy way of making it in here. Okay. And now we're actually already approaching the end of the game. The last uh, boss fight is coming up. So there's one more thing before the boss that I have to do here. Um, the quickest way of getting down there, I line myself up like this. Like I have my crosshair 
Um, pause. There we go. I have my crosshair in exactly this position. So there's these two yellow and black lines on the floor, right? And I pick the left one and have my crosshair just barely touch it. And then I hold back. And once I reach the exit of the elevator, I just hold backwards and boost up until, like with two bunny hops, up until I reach the, the, um, the fall, as you can see now. One, two. Oh, I didn't, I didn't be hop now. Um, one, two, and then you need to turn around and fall on top of this slope to avoid the fall damage. If I don't do that, I'll just die. So move backwards once you, t once you hit the wall and uh, land on top of the slope. If you can't do this boost, it's not a big deal. Um, is there another save? 31? Yes, perfect. It's not a big deal either. Just go on the other side then. Still do the boost. Make sure to just get down here safely then. But this is the faster way. And also the way we can time the next part. Um, there's one more thing you have to keep in mind. Okay, so let me activate the trigger. This is the trigger, the blue one here. That will spawn the big boss out of this um, portal, the, the the purple portal over there. But if I get here too quickly, um, you're actually soft locking the game. Like now, I was too quick, um, and you will see that because there's supposed to be orbs flying out of these things um, into the teleport, and now we just soft lock the game. So what I do before I touch the trigger, I land here. And I hit the ground four times with the wrench, like one, two, three, four, and then I go into the trigger, and now you can see the orbs are coming in, and that spawns the whole boss fight, uh, the whole boss, and starts the cutscene. I will lower my FPS to 20 here to climb up here safely, go into this one, hit the 4 FPS key, so you heal to 100 HP again, make sure you reload your LMG weapon. Have your sniper rifle ready for the boss. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, we just have to wait for this big octopus to spawn in and finish it as quickly as possible. And the way to do this, fast, you pre-aim this turret. You have to hit the eyes, both of them, before you shoot the orb in the middle. So I do shoot the eye as quickly as it reaches this position. You can see this little, like there, right? There's a little quick movement and that's your go your go sign then you can shoot the eye safe load and then go jump on top of this hold back and boost with the jump to make it over here and then you need to aim this turret quickly for the eye here and shoot the orb in the middle so the the easier way here i just did the fast way the easier way is just run over here and aim for the orb and shoot it right the way i just did it before right, let me do let me get over there and have a save there okay save quick <clears throat> um you can use the command draw entities which is usually on one but you can put it on three which will show you the hitboxes so you can use the turret on the eye and now you can see this tiny little black uh, blue box in there, right? <clears throat> and that's the part you have to shoot. And after you shoot the eye, there's just this tiny little time window where it's visible from up here. So that's what you have to hit. And as you can see, the arm is in front of it as well. So it's very, very tricky to do this quickly. And it's easier to just go over here and shoot it from here, right? But uh, yeah, this command can help you figure out where the the hitboxes actually are because on this view it's so much harder to see, right? And also, yeah, what I just do, let me try and pause the game. There you go. So this, I'm actually aiming on, a, on the right spot now. It's like a bit right of the beginning of the arm there, the top arm. And... um. 
Yeah, that's that's the part right there where you can do the quick shot, but you don't have to go for the quick shot if you're just learning the game. So I would say just go over here, shoot it, you can reload your weapon again. You have to wait for the next cycle now. You have to do this thing four times now. Again, shoot it, safe load, backwards boost, over here, shoot the, the orb. Now this thing spawned down here. You want to use the time you have now to kill it. Because as you know, safe loading with these things attacking can crash your game. So that's just a precaution. Safe load. Boost. Oh, safe load. Boost. Um, I have the wrong weapon. Okay. Just get out your sniper rifle. Do the shot here. If you have LMG ammo, easiest way to kill these would be using the LMG. And we do a quick cycle for the end here. Yeah, this, and now it's GG. We did it four times. And once you hit the orb, the boss is dead. And this is where the timer automatically ends if you run um, the BXT timer and life split. So that's the game finished. However, I will now show you the boss fight in an easier way. Okay, now let me let me load back to N32, which is the beginning of the boss fight. Good practice save for that. And I will show you an easier way to do it without the LMG boost over there, because that can be hard to learn. It doesn't save that much time either. Or now, save load. Because once you save load, you will reset the attack animation. And then you can make your way over here. And if you're quick, you will not even be attacked, so... Get your sniper rifle out, shoot it, go over here, and then you shoot the orb, right? And then you can do this whole thing four times. Pretty easy as well. Not the hardest boss fight in the world if you do it in the safe way. Safe load is important, though. Now I took damage. But I will have time to go over here quickly and heal up just before the next rotation starts. Then we go back, shoot, safe load, run over here, shoot, and just run away from these shots as well. And then shoot the next orb. Yeah. You wanna, if you can, make sure to kill these guys as I've mentioned before. Avoid the potential crashing. And then one more time, safe load after you shoot the eye, go over, shoot the eye here, shoot the orb. Alright, I think that should be the easiest way of beating the boss and not even that much slower. And I think you're all set now to get this speed run down, beat the game as quickly as possible, enjoy learning it. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did while I was grinding it. And um, if there's any questions, if I stopped, forgot to explain something, just hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Discord. I will link my Discord server for more questions. I will link my Twitch stream, of course, and ask me questions there if I'm online. Um, Discord should be easier. And yeah, I hope I'll see a lot of new runners in the near future. Take care, everyone. Play up four, play it now. Goodbye.